Welcome to Experimenting Appearances. Welcome. I've done so many things to my hair this year. I've been red. I've had a pixie. I've done ponytail, braided ponytail. I've done it all. Like this is the year where I've really like experimented with my hair. And just because 2024 is going to be over in a month doesn't mean that I am done now. Let's get into the video. I'm going to show you how I came up with this look. I'm loving it personally. Personally. Nice. I kind of like it like this, don't you? Yeah. Black one. Because black is better. Don't be like me, don't do what I did. You know what? We don't even actually have to cut it. We don't have to. But I just want something different. I want something a bit dramatic. Like, to say hello, hi, I'm here. Like, a new look. That's what I'm craving. I'm craving for a new look. I want to cut it short. This is my instrument board for today. do that this is real like I'm doing right now I don't like the layer the um This is interesting. <laughs> interesting. Um, I kind of want to leave it like this. Like I really like this sharp look I've got going on. I'm also supposed to be cutting the fringe, which I'm going to do. Mm. If I was to cut everything, if I was to make everything short, this is basically what it would look like. I'm gonna do everything at the same time. Gonna twist it. I think different. Oh. Okay. It's perfect. The length. I've probably been sitting here for like a good four or five hours, six hours. I'm in such a rut. I'm not in a good mood. Nah. He said, let's be honest, your alligator is supersized. He said your alligator is supersized. I'm not matching the cost, nigga. Your alligator is supersized, my nigga. Pay attention. Oh, shit. I'm just saying, bro, but you are old, nigga. You deserve, you lived your whole life to dress how you, how you want. You should get some new bears. Hi, I don't know if I've really spoken today. I haven't been in the mood, if I'm going to be honest. My mood hasn't been the best today. It's taken me a good, like, how long have I been sitting here? I think probably since, like, three or two that I've been, like, just trying to do this video. Oh. It's taken me this long because I haven't been in the mood. And whilst I was getting ready, I got some information that I did not want to hear even though I had a like I knew 
you know when you just know you have like um your intuitions like i knew but i thought let me just still ask and the person confirmed what it is that i thought so it was just like okay i don't really want to do this um so I, i've just been moving so 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 slow um so here we are <laughs> in a better mood and drinking some baileys i didn't know joe budden had an improv like i didn't know that there was another show besides the podcast called improper prov no improper improv been watching it and it's been making me laugh so much that like even now the things they've been saying to each other is like ah, wow americans when it comes to like getting onto people i wouldn't even bother to um try and compete with them because they're just too fast they're too quick christmas is approaching how does everybody feel about that last year i had a great december though like december is always a fun time for me because i have three birthdays now i have a fourth birthday because my friend's birthdays are the same day as my best friend um so now i have a fourth birthday that i celebrate in december but this year is going to be a quiet one because two of them are flying out to nigeria the other one is flying out and then the fourth one i don't know what she's doing i don't know if she's going to do anything but if she does it's probably going to be quiet things will probably just pop up and i will be available because i won't be doing much but if it's a thing where i'm not really outside i don't mind because i always spend way 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 too much money in december but yeah december is normally always busy for me like something is always happening like there's at least one thing that's gonna happen or like two. Ooh, this is a lot of concealer I was talking about the times that I had in uni, like, such a blast. The antics that I was on, but, like, I was outside and I was loving it. There was a guy. Very good looking. I don't know what he looks like now. One of the guys that I knew that I was cool with at the time, he invited me and, like, my friends to, like, a link up, a drink up in one of the accommodations. Not knowing that it was this sexy individual's um, accommodation that it was happening in. So I go as I do looking fine because if we're going to be real, if we are going to be real as a society as a whole, I was, not to self-proclaim, but I was one of the baddest bees that you would find in Leicester, I promise you. I promise you, everybody was on my neck. Everybody was on my neck, everybody was on my dick. I had such a great time in uni and I got a pick of the bunch. It was such a fun time. I come everybody's having a good time you know having a blast whatever me and him are talking the vibes are great what can i say <laughs> comes to the end of the night it's time for everybody to go home and all of a sudden i've lost my keys <laughs> i've lost my keys i'm asking everybody oh like have you seen my keys i can't find my keys so everybody's helping me to find my percent keys my keys are my bag by the way the keys are not lost they're my bag everybody's going bit by bit and people are asking oh like my friends are asking and some people oh do you want me to help you to do you want me to stay to help you look for your keys i'm like no it's fine you guys go i'll find it if somewhere <laughs> everybody left and it was just me and him because that was the plan because <laughs> it wouldn't like why am i staying behind in uni i was very like tactical when it came to speaking to people you're not gonna know my business i promise you that I could be on the bandus, you would not know. Don't get finessed, be the finessa. I remember like I would always say that to myself. So I wouldn't really get caught up in situations because I'm here to finesse. And, and it was just so funny because after that it just became a thing of like, if you hear me say that I've lost my keys, it, you know what time it is. It just means that I'm like, leave me to be. It's like code basically like, oh, you lost your keys. Yeah, I lost my keys. Oh, like, where were you? I lost my keys. Don't get finesse, be the finesse off. Like, finesse these motherfuckers. And honestly, it worked. But yeah, it was so funny. I guess I can say this is a new look for me. My inspo wasn't bold enough. I thought it was. I thought it was enough. Because to me, it's like, oh, this is daring. I don't really feel like it now that I've got it on. Like I feel like I could have gone, I could have dared even more. How? I'm not too sure. But um, it's not giving daring. It's not giving, oh my gosh, like this is new. This is normal. 
This is the end of experimenting appearances. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel definitely if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Yay.